Hello guys, so our app seems to be working pretty well to this moment and uh, the next level that we're gonna go is actually using Vuex in our application, okay? So why would we want to use Vuex? Right now our components are actually standalone components, meaning they have different states, separate states and the next step that we want to go is display a list of unread notifications for the user right here so maybe as soon as the user receives a request we'll, you'll go ahead and change to one on red notification just like facebook or other social media does it so for us to actually have that functionality we need to have one common state or one common data for our application in the front end so that's why we're going to be using vuex and don't worry if you've never used vuex i'll go ahead and explain as much as i can so that we understand so the first step of installing vuex obviously it's pulling down the library so npm install vuex and that should install vuex so the next step is creating a store we're gonna create a store so right here in our directory i'll just go ahead and create a new file called store.js and uh, in my store.js file that's where i'm gonna import vuex so I'll import vuex from vuex that i just installed right now and uh, also import an instance of view from view and uh, the next thing I like to do is actually register Vuex with Vue. So Vue.use Vuex. And what this is going to do is actually register some functions that come by default with Vuex so that we'll be able to use in our Vue components. So next thing is actually to export the store. So we're going to export a constant and the name of this constant will just be store and this will be equals to a new Vuex store. So Vuex dot store and right here we'll pass in an object okay so for us or for a vuex store what we'll have is a state we'll have getters we'll have actions and mutations okay so the state is just gonna be the data that we have in our application okay so rather than defining for example in our notifications component and having data only for this component we'll actually go ahead and share data so that everybody gets data from the state and we have one particular data for all of the components and everything is in sync so the the last piece of the puzzle is actually registering our store with our view instance. So right here we're just gonna say import the store that we just created. So the store is from and we use these curly brackets. The store is from the same directory. Okay, so make sure you use the curly brackets. We use these curly brackets because we are exporting a constant from the store. If it's if you are actually exporting something by default, for example, right here, since we are exporting by default Vuex, like in our view components, export default. If we are exporting by default, then we don't need the curly braces. But since we are not exporting by default, right here for the store we have to use the curly braces so that in case we are exporting other components we can just go ahead and include them right here so that's our store so to test this out let's just go ahead and include something in our store so we'll just go ahead and say off and we'll set that to false okay so our store has an off and this is available to all our view components as soon as we register the store okay so that's the last step we have to register the store with our Vuex and every single root component to this view instance is gonna have a store the store available to them okay so don't forget to do this and this is just the short form of saying store equals store okay that's es6 okay so that our store should work if we go ahead to view to 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 our browser we should be able to see this store that has been registered newly but first of all let's go ahead and run gob so that we compile and get a fresh copy okay that's working Let's refresh and uh, inspect this in the browser and in our view components, we should have a new of a new store and right there Vuex you see we have a new state and it's set to false 